Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about what time of day is the best for you to do your workout. Um, so the easy answer here is you need to work out at whatever time of day works consistently in your schedule. Um, so whenever you have the energy, motivation, and time in your day to get it done, that's when you should be aiming for. So um, if you can consistently do it at any certain time of the day, that's the time you should do it. But now you're probably watching this video because you have options in your schedule and you want to know if it's better to work out in the morning or the evening. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the benefits of each. And then towards the end, I'll also talk about two a day workouts. Uh, so the benefits of morning exercise. So there are physical benefits and psychological and cognitive benefits. So physically speaking, if we work out in the morning, um, if you work out outside and you live in a hot climate, morning might be better because it's cooler before it gets too hot later in the day. Um, but besides that, there are um, variations in hormones and all sorts of different things that affect the efficacy of your exercise at different times of day. So cortisol and adrenaline, two hormones that are going to spike your energy, essentially, um, we have an increased secretion of both of those in the morning. So that's going to facilitate a better workout. Um, and it's a way for you to sort of work off that, that energy that you get first thing in the morning. Um, exercising in the morning also is going to boost your energy and reduce your fatigue throughout the rest of the day. Um, morning exercise also appears in the research literature to be better for fat loss. And that's especially true if you uh, work out on an empty stomach. Uh, I talked about that in another video, which I recommend taking a look at if you're considering that, because you want to make sure that you're working out safely um, if you're not eating beforehand. It also reduces the hormone ghrelin. So when you work out in the morning, you reduce ghrelin, and that is a hormone that increases your hunger and cravings. So reducing ghrelin is going to reduce your hunger and cravings throughout the rest of the day, which makes it easier to make good food choices and eat fewer calories. Uh, it's also helpful for, for, helpful for blood sugar control in diabetic patients. So there's less of a risk of hypoglycemic events when we exercise in the morning compared to later in the day. Um, the studies have also shown that we have the greatest improvement in blood pressure when we work out in the morning compared to afternoon or evening exercise. Um, and morning workouts also um, appear to have a better effect on improving sleep quality compared to exercising in the afternoon or evening because it might just be too stimulating later in the day that it sometimes can interfere with sleep. That is not true for everyone. So it depends on you as an individual. Um, so if working out late at night keeps you up, then that's not going to be a good time for you to work or to work out. Um, so psychological and cognitive benefits. So for one, if we work out in the morning, it's out of the way. You don't spend the day thinking about it, stressing about it, finding excuses to skip it. Um, we're less likely for scheduling things or meetings or emergencies or things to come up that get in the way of getting your workout in. So if you do it first thing in the morning, it's out of the way. You don't have to think about it. Um, you also start your day focused on your goals, focused on your weight loss or your muscle building or whatever it is, which helps you stay focused and make better decisions throughout the rest of the day. Uh, studies have found that when you work out first thing in the morning, you're more likely to be physically active throughout the day compared to someone who works out in the evening and not in the morning. Exercise is also good for stimulating production of BDNF, that's brain-derived neurotropic factor. Um, so it's a chemical that your brain secretes that actually makes you think better and more clearly. I have another video where I discussed the brain benefits of exercise, and I encourage you to watch that if you're interested in more information. Um, so anytime we do exercise, we have that effect. It's going to help us think more clearly. It's going to help us focus and build new pathways. But if we work out in the morning, then we get to take advantage of those effects throughout the day when we're working or doing whatever it is that we do. Um, if we work out at night, we have that same effect, but it's less potent if we're not then working on a project or applying that extra mental focus to something. Um, exercise also improves mood and decreases stress, which is true no matter when we exercise, but that may be especially useful in the morning so that you're improving your mood and decreasing stress to go throughout your whole day. 
So quick summary is that morning exercise is best for you if your goal is weight loss, blood pressure or glucose management, or if you are looking for the mood or cognitive benefits that you can apply throughout the day. The downside of morning exercise is that it takes longer to warm up because coming from sleep, you're going to be more stiff. Um, so you're going to have to spend more time in warm up so that you don't injure yourself during exercise. Performance is worse. Um, partly because you're not very warm, uh, but also you might be running low on fuel depending on your sleep quality um, or whether you ate breakfast or what you ate, how long ago you ate. So there's just more variation in your energy levels first thing in the morning, uh, which affects performance and requires a longer warm up. Okay, afternoon and evening exercise, uh, physical benefits. Um, so we have a spike in testosterone secretion that's for both males and females that happens later in the afternoon, um, which leads to better muscle performance at that time of day. So for both men and women, uh, you're going to have that higher level of testosterone, which means peak muscle performance later in the day. Uh, we also tend to have greater endurance for cardio type activities later in the day. Um, studies have shown that you actually might have 20% greater endurance. So 20% further distance to run or uh, however you're measuring your, your performance, you might do 20% longer or better uh, when we exercise in the afternoon or evening. Um, also, because body temperature increases throughout the day, uh, we're not going to need as much of a warm up for an afternoon or evening workout. We'll have more flexibility. We'll be warmer, faster, more easily. So you'll be able to jump right in a lot more easily later in the day. In terms of the psychological and cognitive benefits, if you're a late night work you know, exerciser and you go to the gym, um, it'll be less crowded at the gym in most cases. So that can improve the focus of your workout. Um, exercise also relieves stress, as I mentioned in the last slide, um, which if you've gone through a long, stressful day, that could be really useful for you at the end of the day to help improve the quality of your sleep. Um, it also could be used to replace bad habits. So somebody who's in the habit of watching a lot of TV at night, you know, sitting around, eating, snacking, drinking alcohol, those sorts of things that, you know, we all do some of that and that's okay. Uh, but if you get in the habit of going to the gym instead, then we're replacing some less healthy habits with a more healthy habit. Um, and so then in terms of psychological and cognitive benefits, we have all the same benefits in the evening and afternoon as we did in the morning. Um, it's just that we don't get to enjoy those same benefits all day long like we do if we work out in the morning. So to summarize, if your goal is muscle building or performance related, so you want to build more muscle, you want to get stronger or any kind of performance related goal, you want to run further or faster or anything like that, um, then you're better off working out in the afternoon or evening when those things are optimized. The downside is that working out later in the day could interfere with your good sleep depending on you. Um, and it also can be harder to stick to a consistent routine, um, depending on you and what your life and schedule are like. But we're, the later in the day we work out, the more likely it is that things happen. You know, life events happen, things get in the way. And so we're more likely to skip afternoon and evening workouts compared to morning workouts. All right. So the idea of two a days, meaning working out twice in each day, um, so a question I get is, well, what kind of workouts should I do and when? Well, I would say that if you have a priority in your goals, um, like we want to schedule the two workouts based on what your priority is. So if your main goal, the most important thing to you is performance related or muscle building, um, then you want to put whatever is your priority should go uh, in the evening because you're going to have better performance. You're going to have better lifting, better endurance. Everything is better in terms of performance in the afternoon or evening. So prioritize it that way. Now, if there's any doubt that you'll be able to do two workouts, then put whichever one is the priority first. Um, so even though performance will be worse first thing in the morning, if you're guaranteed to get the morning one in and then the evening workout is in question, then do the priority first. 
because then it won't have as big of an impact on your ability to achieve your goals if you miss the second workout later on. Now, a common strategy for many in my world, <laughs> uh, in the strength and conditioning, personal training world, a uh, common strategy is cardio in the morning and weightlifting in the evening. I've heard this referred to many times as a werewolf workout, uh, like you beast out, you beast mode at night, and then you run in the morning. You run when the sun comes up like a werewolf. <laughs> Uh, so that's a very common strategy because then you're maximizing the the fat burning effects in, of you doing cardio in the morning and you're maximizing the muscle building effects of weightlifting or whatever strength training, hit workout, whatever you're doing in the afternoon or evening. All right. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day.